What is going on, everybody? My name is Bleeves. I'm here with Maker Lee, and we're here to talk to you about Jesus. Not the Jesus that you might think. We're actually here to talk about Jesus Coin. This is a token on the ERC uh, network, and it's a uh, wrapped ETH pair for now. We got an announcement coming in just a moment about some other pairings that are available. And uh, Jesus Coin is trading right now at about 30 million market cap. So, Maker Lee, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Stoked to be here. So let's talk the be in the beginning. I'm Love it. not going to have a great time with it. <laughs> what led to you bringing, um, I, I want to say, bringing Jesus into this world? Great question. So the story goes like this. Um, so I've been, I'll start with me first. I've been in crypto since 2018, 2019, just like for fun. I shifted full time into crypto 2020. Um, I have a marketing background. So that was my thing, just like helping NFT projects and, and crypto projects um, as like a consultant. So 2021 is when I went like full time. I have a day job working at a DeFi protocol. And so I'm in crypto all the time. I'm in the space. I'm on Twitter. I'm, you know, memeing and, and all the all the things with everybody else, all the DGens. And April of last year, Pepe launches. Okay. Pepe goes, to, it's a bear market. Everyone's depressed and sad. Pepe goes to one point something billion in less than two weeks. All of my friends who are NFT DGENs who have been in crypto, but they're not like expert traders. They're like, oh, this is the new meta. Okay, we're doing meme coins. Great. So everyone is just jumping into meme coin, jumping into meme coin. Unfortunately, it's very easy to make um, a scam contract, a honeypot, an absolute rug pull. Um, and so what I was seeing was, I had friends messaging me and commenting saying like, hey, I just bought this contract. Um, It went to zero. Like, I can't sell. Why can't I sell? And I'm like, wait, did you guys not actually like check? You know, there's audit tools. You can check these contracts to make sure you're not buying something. So that got me real fired up. So for like a couple of days, I'm just educating friends of like, okay, guys, um, so you have to go like a, a token sniffer, check out these audit tools to make sure that you can sell, that the buy and sell tax isn't too high. Like, is it modifiable? You know, all these things that in crypto I know about, you think are common sense. Um, but because these NFT DGENs who were, again, so bored, they were they they traded NFTs. Um, and meme coins are just a completely different game. There's a lot more volatility and a lot more liquidity to like move things. So I'm like, well, the education on a one-to-one -one basis isn't really helping. I can launch a coin. Like, what if I launch something that, isn't a rug pull that stands for truth and like helping people. And I'm like, well, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I love Jesus. What better name to name something than literally Jesus? So uh, my marketing brain kicks in and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. If you type in Jesus meme, like in Twitter, there's just gifs and gifs and gifs of like the cool one and like, hey, how's it going? And so I'm like, okay, wait, this actually fits not only as like, let me launch something to help people, but it fits as like a meme coin, like in this category, which is just funny to think. And through the year so we launched last year so it's like through almost a year of that the narrative of trying to explain to people that like no we're not making fun of christians we're not making fun of jesus we're not saying this is a joke we're saying that like we all connect with this culture together and that's what this community is about and so from there it's like you know there were some mishaps at launch where instead of giving 80 percent out for people to buy in the liquidity pool i actually i locked that at i locked that portion of the supply and that ended up burning on christmas day which was 200 million dollars worth of jesus coin of last year and then the tokenomics basically got reversed so the devs that i consulted with to help me we were like it's a normal tokenomics distribution it's good to go but because of those mishaps when i'm deploying it because i'm not a dev i'm a marketer when i'm deploying it you have the basically the liquidity pool is is like one point something percent, maybe two percent of supply available. And 98 percent of the token is with the community because there was no team allocation. There was no team treasury. There's no marketing, but there was nothing that was saved. Um, and so everyone was like, wait a second. We kind of love this now. And then I, of course, want to be a part of the, my, the project myself. So I buy with my own money after launch and I'm just holding through all of these crazy, I mean, the amount of 80% corrections, it's like, you know, you go up 500%, you dump 80%, but you're still up. And so that has just been happening for the last year. Um, December, we hit all time high was I think 85 million. Yeah. Dumped down to like 10 or 11, but it's like now we're back at 30. So it's like, you know, the 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 bull market, like as a the cycle comes through and, and retail buying comes through and, and people kind of get passionate about communities that they like and passionate about causes. 
um, then truly it's like, okay, maybe this is not the end. And we're actually moving towards something of like, what if we make, like, what if we can be the one community in crypto that's like helping people and, and aren't promoting scams and aren't doing shilly, like pump and dump tactics and all this stuff. So that's like long story short, how it all happened. All right. So then let's uh, take a moment and let's go to the website and let's kind of check it out and let's yeah. see. Um, so this is a website, fairly simple. There's nothing um, there's nothing flashy about it. You have a shop, uh, you have good water. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a swap and then uh, a spot where you can learn more. If you click on the shop, then you are presented with, um, tell us a little bit about your merchandise line. Yeah, so this is the merch shop, um, the community again. So when we launched, there was no team and slowly passionate community members have been like, I actually want to start volunteering and helping. So right now there is like an unofficial volunteer team of people who come through. So a lot of those guys were like, man, I'm really want like we need some we need some merch as a community that we can be proud of. So yeah. and I would for my personally, I'm like, man, let's take this to the best level. Like, let's do custom cut and sew like blanks and like high quality stuff not just uh print on demand whatever and so that part of the roadmap per se um is still working on finalizing the details where it's like so this hat is actually a buddy of mine here um where i live and eventually i want to get to to the higher end stuff eventually yeah. so we'll see from there so this is the merch shop uh, it's super cool it's literally priced at cost so if anyone's confused right. um it's it's like this is no no one's making money on this shop it's more just like for the community but it all ends in seven seven i know there's a reason for that exactly exactly so <laughs> i when i mean i can tell you the reason so seven in christianity is the number of perfection uh yeah. seven days of creation so seven is like a holy number mm -hmm. um in terms of if you're into that kind of stuff so we, we play we play with those numbers for sure so tell me about good water what what is what is good water here yes so good water was announced at the end of last year which is a partnership uh, collaboration with this brand uh that sells alkaline water at 40 percent of all profits from these bottles go to help uh, end homelessness in la and nashville so the goal is right now it's supporting causes uh to help like get them in houses get them in clothing all that stuff the goal is eventually as this brand grows that we're able to employ only like homeless uh, workers yeah. so in the warehouses and in the factories um that would be the goal of like let's have not just giving them food for the day but like let's employ them let's get them back on track towards the right direction so this is a cool thing uh, a buddy of mine had started this beforehand and i was like oh this is so perfect because our motto for jesus going is do good give more and yes. my buddy had this good water and i was like oh it's perfect so that was where that partnership came through all right. I'll put the links in the video. So anybody who wants to check this out can can go look in the description down below. Yeah. Um, I, I, I certainly like this idea and uh, I, I don't want to click on too many links here, but um, the the idea here is for most people, you're going to look at this and you're going to be like, well, a 12 pack of, of water, that's kind of expensive. And maybe it is, but there's a purpose behind this and there's a yeah. reason behind this. First of all, it's alkaline water. And then secondly, uh, you are giving to a community and you're doing um, basically a benevolent good and, and a service uh, to the community. Now, in that context, how do I, as an investor, how do I track this? Not that I don't trust you, but you know, the it's this is crypto trust, but yeah, verify. Absolutely. So how do you how do you track that? Great question. So, because this was launched first as a Web two company, and we're coming through as the Web three side on the crypto side, the goal is like, how can we bring as much of their books? and their transparency and giving on the blockchain. So right now, you know, launched a couple months ago, um, the process of how can we make this happen to the causes that they're giving to, how can we give them crypto if they don't aren't native to crypto? How does that work? So right. working with partnering, uh, there's one uh, company called The Giving Block uh, that helps onboard crypto, um, non-crypto companies into crypto so helping them get a wallet and receive crypto and then like swap in and out for them to convert into fiat and then the goal would be like well we're able to track you know here's revenue from good water here's donations sent via giving block to um the x community there's one called the mercy house there's another one called dream center um so how can we reflect that on the blockchain that it's happening so my my answer to you is is it's coming but because 
the partnership is with a web two company, like we have to do a lot of onboarding to bring them up to speed. Gotcha. All right. So, but it'll, it'll be something that's coming yes. in the future. So, yes. uh, so let's talk about, um, the swap. Is that just Uniswap? Yeah, that's just Uniswap. Yeah. Learn more takes us to the full, like full on site. And right, um, there we go. yeah, exactly. So, you know, there's feedback too of, should this be the main site as the landing page? I mean, probably, but you know, we're doing our best here with the team that we have of, of developers where it's like, you know, we have a couple of, of website guys. One is in Michigan, one is in Australia. So it's like time zone wise, and then it's all volunteer. So it's like when we, when we have the time, um, we're, at, we're able to get these guys to do it. And, and, you know, I, like I said, I work a day job full time. And so I don't know, I'm just going to ask you right now. Do you think this should be the main landing page? Um, I think that it should be whatever you think is the right play, uh, because as the, as the designer, creator and marketer, I think that you should be at the forefront of making those decisions. And for me, my answer to this would be, if this were the site that you were using, I would like it. I, 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 you know, I look, the, the other one doesn't jump at you. Right. Uh, so right. this one does jump at you. And, but the principle behind that for other people is right to attract more investors. And I mean, exactly. is this really about that? Or is this about, you know, is this about the benevolence of the community? Is this about the good of the community? Or right. is it about making a profit or something like that? So that's a question. And because yeah. of the situation that you are in because of this, you need to profit in order to continue to do good in the community. Right. So by that process, yeah, let's make it look real good. But by the other, if if the purpose is to flip the coin and make money, then it is that in in the giving spirit? So right. um, you got it. You're you'll have to decide that for yourself. It is not for me. I don't want to be blamed for that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do for what it's. For what it's worth, this is the main site on Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko, and so and Twitter as well. So most traffic, I'll have to check the analytics on traffic wise to see what. This what's is the one on. right here that I think hey. everybody's going to wonder about right there now, it since it's the cat's kind of out of the bag at this point right now. You have a Solana coin contract. We do. Tell me a little bit about um, uh, Jesus Coin on Solana, yeah. and is it available now? It is available now. So just launched yesterday. Uh, if you you can check that contract if you want. Um, the Solana DGens were very excited. Let me tell you. Um, I don't know if it's going to come up on on a type. We're we're communicating with Dex Tools. Yeah. To get it up there. Um, the Orca pool. Yeah, the third one down is. is yeah, it looks main. like a lot of people have been kind of. <laughs> yeah, doing exactly. Their, yeah. Um, I think it did like an 8x yesterday. Um, yep. which so on a technical basis that's just funny to me because um it's the same coin right so yeah, yeah. so i guess for for people who are, are unsure or if you're i'll just explain so um a bridged contract a, a bridged token um is the same token so it can go back and forth and it's essentially just another trading pair that exists like if you have one on a centralized exchange or one on a, a decentralized exchange it's the same token just buying it in different areas so yesterday well let me tell you the motivation so the motivation of bridging to solana was you know, I have PTSD of NFT bull market where it costs like $500 in gas to buy an yeah. NFT. Um, and it's like, wait, this NFT costs 50 bucks and I'm spending $500 in gas. I don't know what's happening. Um, so my presumption, and I think a lot of people are, and this is why the push for layer twos is is so real, is um, this might be pushing away a lot of retail buyers, the cost of gas for on-chain transactions. So yes. for me, it's like, okay, we have to get this into the hands of as many people as possible, because like you said, the goal is the, of this project is to, to do the most good. And how can we do that by, you know, a million holders? You know what I mean? Like, keep keep going you can keep going. Um, and so bridging over was one thing where it's like, well, if we bridge over, I want to make sure we have a, enough liquidity. Um, so I, you know, donated tokens from my own wallet. And then we had another, let's see, we did, we bridged over 32,000, I think. So that would have been like 25 for me, I, I think I put in 13, uh, like Jesus coin to the pair. Yeah. And then it, it pumped while people were excited that we were bridging. So that yeah. 13 turned into like 27. And then the rest was in USDC and ETH. So we bridged all that over to Solana. And we deployed this liquidity pool with um, 30,000. So it's 15K and 15K. Again, the Solana DGENs, I guess they did their, their due diligence um, where that it's a bridge token, but it's new. So the, the circulating su supply and liquidity is different. So it's like, our market cap on Ethereum is 30 something million. And here it's 
370,000. Yeah. Um, so it's a 10 X from the initial price that we bridged over. And I, I don't know. It, it's crazy to me. Cause it's like, I know you can just bridge back and forth. There's, there's arbitrage traders who will say, if I buy $10 on ETH, and then I bridge over to Solana, that $10 is now worth $100. That yep. is a, a technical reality that I can't undo or, ch you know what I'm saying? That's just how it works. But that's the purpose of the bridge. I mean, that's, yeah. that's to let the, now you're letting the market exactly figure this out. And the early adopters and the people who are getting in here and moving yeah. it over at those prices, those are the ones that are going to benefit the most and, and profit the most from it. That's where capitalism comes into play. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, it, it, as time moves on and you got about a quarter million dollars in volume over here. So, uh, as they're, they're realizing it and they're recognizing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, it, it will work itself out and you'll have a very similar market cap. I want to say seven to 14 days. Right. Yeah. Um, which I'm stoked for. Cause again, it's, it's, uh, you know, Solana gas fees are pennies. So right. the, the retail buyer doesn't care that like, oh, the OG crypto guys don't like Solana and this one's more. Dis it's like no one cares. I don't want to spend forty dollars in gas to buy forty dollars in Jesus. And that's what a lot of people are going to going to feel. And so for me, it's like, let's do it now before retail comes through, before gas, you know, gray skyrockets to like 200, 400 gray or something. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be a, a good option for people who like maybe they want to, you know, maybe their their trading budget is 100 bucks. And it's like, that's great. Everybody starts somewhere. Um, so this way that helps them have a lot more accessibility uh, for the project. All right. So we got, a, it's available on Ethereum. It's available on Solana. Uh, do you have any plans on bridging out to other ones? I mean, obviously in today's environment, you've got, I mean, you really have a lot of different options. If you are a trader now, yeah. you can go to, um, I mean, let me just pull up the DeFi dashboard and you can see where everything is being traded right now. Yeah. Um, yep. In fact, uh, 1.5 billion on Ethereum, 700, uh, 780 million on Solana, mm -hmm. but uh, you've got, and this number is not right, right here. Something is going on. With oh, say maybe maybe was pumping. Yeah, this thing is all messed up. Look at this. <laughs> oh gosh, um, yeah. But, so they must be doing some, but you know, you've got BSC, you've got yeah, right. Arbitrum, yeah. Uh, trading huge volumes. You got mm -hmm. Sui, which is now in, I think, the, I want to say the top 10 right now. Wow. Um, Tron, you, you've got, and, yep. and Tron's a little more expensive, but it, it's not prohibitive. Yep. Uh, Polygon, and by the way, all of these Arbitrum, Polygon, all of these Layer Two solutions, Optimus, Optimism, all of these guys are going to have a a uh, a decline in fees by a factor of about tenfold. Yeah. In, I mean, what is it, thirty days? Yeah. So this is, you know, there's some there's some real opportunity to yeah. start getting around into these ecosystems and creating a little more options for people. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's like, and you know, people will say some, uh, we have a, some, some pulse chain diehards yeah. who will come to the chat and it's like, I'm all about it. Like I, I love passionate communities and all that stuff, but it's like, I base, base it off of this where it's like, you know, one through one through six, like top six is like, there's volume there. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's like, I'm going to follow the volume. I'm not going to be the first mover. Um, BSC also makes a lot of sense as well. Um, yeah, this is total value locked, by the way, is the way I sorted it. Yes. So this is, you know, th these are probably at least the most secure and safest exactly. uh, of them. So, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, you know, uh, on the roadmap. Pulse Chain checked in at number 11, by the way. That's, uh, that actually uh, impresses me. That actually impresses me. significant. Pulse Chain seems to be coming along Pulse really coming well. Uh, it's actually beating out base right now. Uh, wow. And, and Cardano. I take back, and I take back everything I said. Yeah, it's it, wow. Um, you know, there's a lot going on, and 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 you know, I I get a, a lot of it, and of course, uh, it, if you know who my partners and stuff are, then then you know we've been leaning into Hex and Pulse Chain, mm -hmm. uh, just recently trying to kind of unlock the the key to you know what what is it that makes that tick, and yeah. and I think we're going to be branching over there as well. So yeah, cool. uh, you know, it seems like an up and coming sort of space. Yeah, so, I yeah, love crazy. It. I... One, one more thing though. Yeah. Um. What about exchanges? I mean, that's, you know, going back to the greed aspect, that's right you know, because it still exists. And, yeah. and at the end of the day, cryptocurrency, even if you have the the greatest sense of benevolence and, and good about what you do, right. at the end of the day, in order for a project to survive, greed must exist in this mm. industry. So mm. with that, what are the exchanges that you guys are looking at? Is there an, an opportunity to expand? Yeah. How does that work? So... 
Uh, obviously, to start with Dream, obviously, um, you know, Pepe just got listed on Robinhood in Europe yesterday. Yeah. Uh, huge news. Huge news. I actually didn't even hear that many people talking about it. Um, so with that said, it's like who, the goal is mass adoption always in crypto. So the goal is like, how can we get as many eyes and as many people um, passionate about a project? So that's a U.S. compliant tier one exchange. And then beyond that, it's, you know, the Robin Hood and the, the st what is the other one? Uh, who, they like take a penny, a dollar out every month or something. It's called something. Stash. Like those like very retail friendly, like banking apps, uh, trading apps, but they have some crypto in it. Uh, yeah. Cash app as well. I think they have crypto. So the goal is like, I mean, that's the dream. Absolutely. For us, it's like, what is the return on investment from individual community members who have we're not given any tokens for free. How can we utilize um, our personal funds or our, you know, Jesus holdings in order to make things happen? Um, tier one exchanges are very expensive. I can reveal uh, that we were blessed and grateful enough to have two conversations with two tier one exchanges where there was an interest and there was a, a consideration negotiation, you know, process of like, yes, no, let's think about it. Can we? Um, which they then, you know, after the first of the year, when Bitcoin started dumping after the ETF uh, and everything else kind of corrected, we also had a similar correction. And so they were like, let's just put on hold for now, which makes sense because of course, like, yeah, like on a business level, it's like there. Can you imagine the heat they would get into if they listed like a, a 1 million market cap coin or 500K cap? It would be like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, they, 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 they don't want to be the market maker. Exactly. They, they, they just they, they want the market to be made already, which exactly. is why Pepe had such a significant run. People were looking to take advantage of it. And, you know, right now, to, to be fair, in this market, we don't have what we had during Pepe. Yeah. And, and, and during Pepe, you know, you had those market makers coming in yeah. and they were, you know, am I, am I supposed to say this? Like, do we go to jail for I saying I don't know if we're allowed to say it. We'll just say <laughs> um, they were doing market stuff. makers that were out here pumping these bags for right. people yeah. in order to liquidate. I mean, you basically just, you just had a bunch of, of these companies coming in and they were throwing a little seed in mm -hmm. to each one of these tokens. Yes. And then people saw, oh my God, we're pumping. And then they throw a little bit more in and people mm -hmm. like, oh my God, we're pumping. Mm -hmm. Then the FOMO builds and everybody starts to ape in and then yeah. they sell at the top. And Correct. I think uh, one of them, I used to talk about them all the time. I can't remember their name, but they made uh, they made uh, 420 million cash in the second quarter when Pepe was running. Wow! Of last year, yeah, unbelievable. Wow! Uh, so that's crazy. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so the goal it's like tier one, of course, is the goal. And I think for that, for me, it's two things. One is awareness. A lot of people don't know how to use a MetaMask wallet, so it's like it's easier for them to buy on KuCoin. Great. Number two is just stability in terms of the order book, where it's like, you know, for example, we had a large whale who was early on exit last year. It's like an $800,000 sell in one swap. Um, so price dumps 60%. So that was his first win. <laughs> yeah. Oh I, oh, I know. The dude, I, I didn't message him after that, but he messaged someone else who said like, dude, my mom, like I was homeless. Like my mom was really struggling. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Hate a dude for taking care of his family? Like, of course yeah. not. I can never do that. Like, you, like, you know, it's PVP. That's, that's, that is the meta that is crypto. Um, so for my number one goal is like, man, can we get a little more stability when it comes to like a centralized order book that doesn't hit the liquidity pool right away? So there's basically kind of a buffer of these larger, maybe larger whales who are wanting to get in versus larger whales who are wanting to scale out. Let's put that onto an exchange so that, yes, there'll be big sales and big buys. Of course, it's crypto, but that that can basically like find us more equilibrium because it's it's crypto. It's a meme coin. There's no reason why a coin can't go up 200 and down 90 percent in a day like that happens yeah. all the time. So but not everyone wants to experience that. So for me, it's like, let's get volatility a little less um, so that we're able to grow long term. Because um, like you right. said, it's like the, the, the point of this project is to grow long term. Absolutely. Um, you know, how can we do as much good as possible? with as much resources as possible that's that's always the goal so um let's do it it's like uh there's a community i don't know if you guys have talked about ticker bitcoin like the harry potter obama sonic on here uh, no i i, I kind of 
I kind of try to stay away from that because okay. to me that's just crazy. <laughs> it's it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. I agree with you. So there's like this like schizo degen side of Twitter and meme coins, and uh, but one of their community members is in Nigeria, and he basically was like, "Hey guys, like I I'm, I'm feeling passionate about helping my local communities." get access to clean water. Uh, it doesn't actually cost that much to build a well. Do you guys want to help? So I found out about it and I was like, oh, this is this is literally perfect. Like, are you sure you're in the right coin? Like, I, this is what we're doing. Yeah. So we started donating to him. So it's like through donating with him, he's been able to build four wells in Africa. Um, and it's like all through people. It's all through donations. And it's all through, again, for me, it's like a community is coming together in order to help people who are less fortunate and who need it. It's like, how is there, how are there people in the world who don't have clean water? Like how much money does that take? Let's make it happen. You know what I mean? Right. That gets me fired up. <laughs> but you know, and, and, and uh, the ability of purpose, I mean, I think that's important for, I mean, that's how we survive, right? That, yes. that, that, that really is how we all survive, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta have a reason to exist. You have to have a reason to do things. You have to have uh, whatever it is. And by the way, I'm stalling you out right now because I'm buying, um, I'm buying Jesus coin as we speak. So. <laughs> Live on air. I love yeah, that. I was just getting, I was just getting ready to like light it up. It keeps telling me I don't have enough soul. Something must be going on with Jupiter. Uh, yeah. So the liquidity. This is this is where we're at now. So we deployed liquidity on Orca. Okay. Which yeah. apparently is I'm not a Solana degen. Apparently the Solana degens like radium better. Yeah. Um, and so if there's issues on the buying, slippage might be too high on radium versus on I think I think Jupiter might pull it from radium, which only has has very low liquidity. It's not from us, it's from someone else doing liquidity on there. Um all right. So so just FYI, Orca is the better play. All right, then we'll figure that one out in just a few minutes. So we're not buying it on air. But we're going to be buying it as soon as we're done. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think that concludes it. I think we pretty much got a, a pretty good idea. We did it in a half hour. So yeah. um, other than our BSing beforehand, right. I think we kind of came in under the wire and nailed it. So uh, anything you want to say in closing to everybody who might be watching or, or checking this out? Um, yeah, I would like to say that um, I think uh, we all in crypto have a responsibility to kind of use the blessings that we get in terms of like profitable trades or being early. Um, and we have a responsibility to really do like good for the world. Um, yes, it's cool. Obviously, take care of yourself and your family. Like we don't want you homeless or, or gambling with rent money or something. Um, but I think once we once you get to the position where it's like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like my capacity to help others is increasing because I'm whatever, making more money or et cetera. Uh, I would encourage you to like go for it and you know help someone out in that way, um, spread it around, do some good, and it it goes a long way. And honestly, it feels better than a win, in in my opinion. So absolutely, that's all I got. And maybe the community will come up with some kind of uh, ongoing thing where every month you guys will you know set up something for, to do like donations or yeah, uh, you know feed some homeless uh, or, or or you can't put them to work, but you can have like a um, dinner for for people something yeah. like that I mean, there's there's all kinds of exactly. number of innovative ways that you can help and you don't have to help the world you just have to help the people around you Oof. and you become a better person because yes. of it so um certainly appreciate that and and thank you so much i, I mean you guys are doing the you're doing the lord's work uh literally <laughs> so yeah. um that's it for now you guys thank you so much for tuning in uh please go check out jesus coin we've got every all the links everything in the description down below uh, you can go to the Telegram. You can go to their website. You can check everything out that you want. Uh, I'm going to put the contract addresses down there for ETH and Solana. Remember, uh, there are some conversations about exchanges that might be coming in the future. Uh, nothing is confirmed until it's confirmed. And remember, uh, kids, those of you that are like me, opportunistic, remember, Easter's coming soon. So I got a feeling we're probably going to see a pump, but I don't know. Until then, um, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys have a good day and we'll talk to you again soon.